welcome to my channel this is is Tutor and um you are watching my video and uh, i'm going to show you how you can use the drawing instrument to produce this uh or to uh, the asymmetric view of this object as we are given the orthography views here and i've made a sketch of this but as i usually say that this same question can be repeated in another year for which you use your drawing instrument to make the asymmetric view of this same object so let's go and see how that can be done so the first thing to do is to uh, draw a horizontal line like this then we take our cell square so we draw a line in this direction and we also draw a line in this direction okay so we have that the uh, length from year to year is 120 in the plan and this is the front elevation and this is the end elevation so uh, we take a measurement and don't forget that point x is what is here this is point x here here is point x so here we have what we have x here so we have x at this point here okay so with that so the next thing to do is to take a measurement of 120 to this side and then we have that um okay all right so this time from year to year is 70 that is in the plan so i will take a measurement of 120 millimeters to this side 120 millimeters so from point x take 120 so this is 120 here so this is 120 so i'm going to draw a short vertical line here like this so this is okay so then i will draw a also a short vertical line here like this okay so what you want to do first is that let us produce this um this uh rectangle on the front elevation so the height of that is 15 millimeters i'll take a measurement of 15 millimeters this is 15 millimeters so and i'll draw this line so i draw this line from here so it goes like this so that is this is the rectangle on the front elevation so then i will need to transfer this line so i'll transfer this line to this side and i'll also transfer it so transfer it to this side all right so with what i've done here let's come to the plan in the plan this is the plan so we have this l shape here in the plan so let's bring out this l shape in the plan that means when we are looking at the object downward we have this l shape so let's bring out the l shape so we have that distance from year to year is 20 millimeters it means that from year to year also is 20 millimeters so let's bring out that l shape so i will come here and take a measurement of 20 millimeters so this is 20 millimeters so then um so the length from year to year length from year to year is 70 millimeter which is written here so i take a measurement of 70 millimeters here so this is 70 millimeters so and i'll also take 20 millimeters from here so to the other side so that okay so with what i've done here i'm going to first of all i'm going to transfer this to the other side like this now also so bring this like this then i will transfer this transfer this to this side like this okay so we form the l shape as you can see here so the next thing that i'm going to do is to okay so i also need to take a measurement of 70 millimeters here 70 millimeters so this is 70 millimeters so i'll draw a vertical line here like this so and then so i'll complete this and this okay so at this point um at this point here we have this vertical line here we have this vertical line so i need to draw the vertical line at this point let's look at the way i'm going to do it and it's very simple so uh, draw a vertical line here okay like this i also need to draw a vertical line at this point okay so i also need to do draw a vertical line so this vertical line 
So the glue of this goes up a bit. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to form this shape out. So I will come back to this later. But I want to form this shape out. That's what I want to do. So we have that the height from okay from year to year is 15 millimeters. Let me start from 15 millimeters and then um okay uh okay so distance from here to here so if i have a line like this this time from here to here is 20 millimeters so let me get that first then i think i can be able to get this if i'm able to get this done so first of all i will take 15 millimeters on this line 15 millimeters on this line here up so this is 15 millimeters here okay then I'm going to take 20 millimeters from here. This 20 millimeters that we have, this 20 millimeters that we have here. So I want to take it down here. Okay, 20 millimeters here. So here I'm going to draw a vertical line. So here I'll draw a vertical line here. Okay, so and then um all right, so taking a vertical line there. So what is the height of this line? The height of this line from here to here. I think they want us to calculate it from here. So this is 30. So this is 30. So from this 15 up, it is 40 millimeters. So I'm going to take, I need to extend this line. Just let me take 70 from here down. So from here. So um, so as you can see that from here to here is 70. So I'm going to take 70 from this line here. Just take 70. This is 70 millimeters here. So this is 70. So that's seven that I've taken. So I will draw this line also. I will extend this line. I'll take it up like this. So this 70, I will transfer it here. So it is better like that. Okay. So I'll transfer it here. Okay. So I will also transfer it. That same 70. I'll transfer it to this side like this. Okay. So this non-isometric line that you see here, this line from year to year, so I can join. So all I need to do is to join these 15 millimeters that we have at this point, join it to the where I have that 70. So I'll just join this like this. So this is it. So then I'm going to transfer this point. So this point will be transferred, transferred down here. Then I'm going to take this, so take it like this, and then I will join this with it. Okay, then I can join this point, this point to form the nice non isometric line on this side. This is it. All right, so that shape has come out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to form this part of the object so um so i need to transfer this i need to bring this to this side so um all right so i will take this to this side like this all right so i will also take this to this side okay um, then i will join this point to join this point together with this okay so um so we have that the thickness from year to year is 20 millimeters so i just take a measurement of 20 millimeters here like this this is 20 so that's 20 millimeters that's 20 millimeters okay and i'm checking something All right, so I'll take 20, 20 millimeters. I think I've taken that. So this is 20 millimeters. So I need to transfer this. I need to transfer this to this side. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing I'm going to check is, I'm going to put there is this star from year to year, which is 20 millimeters. That's what I said I was trying to check. So this should be 60, this is correct. This is 60 millimeters. So I will take 20 here. So this is 20, so I will transfer this to this side. 
So I would like us to see what we have done so far so that then I will now put this uh, semicircle around here, which is, is an isometric semicircle. So first of all, let me bring out, I need to take this some part of it so that we can see what we have done so far. So I'm going to pause the video and do that. All right, so this is what we have done so far. So it remains the semicircle part, so which is this part. And what I usually do here, as we have the diameters of this uh, semicircle is 40 millimeters. So what I usually do, I will construct an isometric square. Just look at the way I'm going to do it. So what we need to do first is to uh, draw um, a vertical line here. So you take it down like this, and you take this down. Okay, so I need to make it take it up a little bit. I also need to take it up like this so um okay so then from this point i will take 20 millimeters up and 20 millimeters down so 20 millimeters down here and 20 millimeters up so i will transfer this um so transfer this to this side and i will transfer so this to this side okay so um Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is to join the long uh, diagonal together, the longer diagonal, we join this together like this, okay, so then, um, then, so this point will be connected, this point will be connected together with this point, so, and it will also be connected Okay, I need to get the midpoint of this. That's what I'm not getting. So the midpoint, uh, let me take the measurement. That is 20 millimeters from this end. This is 20. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay. Alright, so then I'm going to join this together with this. Okay, so I don't need to do everything. I don't need to do everything. I only need that I will join everything. So in case you are to construct, let's assume that we are asked to draw an isometric circle here. So I need to make it, I need to complete it. So I will also join these points together with this, like this. Okay, so with what I've done here, okay, with what I've done here, I have to put the pinpoint on my compass here at this point. Then I will draw, I will draw like this, okay. Alright, so that is one part of it. Then I need to put it at this point here, extend it here. So, um, okay, so I will draw like this, okay, so you can see has come out on this part so take note of that so next thing i'm going to do is that i need to also produce the same thing around here so i'm going to repeat what i did here here now so but i'm going to pause the video okay uh, let's see it together sorry let's see it together so that you also can be able to do that so um so just Produce the isometric square here. So I have another way that can do it, but I just want to use this method. So it's quicker. So this is 2020. 20. So I'll transfer this to this side. <coughs> okay, so transfer this to this side, and I will also transfer um, this to this side like this. Okay, so joining the uh, the longest diagonal together, so I'll get the midpoint. Okay, I have okay, so the midpoint is okay, so that's the midpoint. Okay, so I need to take this up like this. Okay, so then, um, so I need to join this together. So I'm just repeating what we did on the other part, so I will need to join. Um, this together like this and also I will join these points together with this 
and this will also be joined together with this. All right, so um, okay, so what I need to do now is to put the midpoint of my compass here, extend to this point. We're almost done, almost done. So I extend to this point. I believe you can see what I've done. Okay, so I will draw this. Okay, I don't really need this part because it's not the whole of this that we show. I need to focus on this part. I'm just sorry for that. I need to focus on this part. So, uh, okay, so this is the part that I need. I don't need the other parts. So I need to. So I need to draw from here to here like this. Okay. All right, so that's the part that I need. So it will not show around here. Let me bring out what we have here with my black pen here. So um, this is a thick line, and this will also be be a thick line from here to here. All right, so you can see that the object has come out. So this is how it should be. So it's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. When you practice this, you definitely master it. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Uh, uh, currently, let me inform you though, I'm going to make an official uh, announcement of this on this YouTube channel. I'm going to, uh, I'm planning to open a, a new YouTube channel, even that's been opened. But I've not launched it because I need to announce it here on this YouTube channel. And what I want to do on that channel is to uh, put the basics of technical drawing there. So all these things that I'm bringing in here to solve problems, I want to put them in that YouTube channel so that uh, you learn the basic of this work. So that's what I want to do. But I'm going to make an official announcement of that. So, and I will let you know the name of that channel. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you. Keep on practicing.